Good evening, Mr. Vine. Good evening, Jervis. You certainly seem to be in a good mood tonight, Mr. Vane. I am, Jervis. The secret formula I've been developing for years is nearly complete. Are you talking about the secret formula that will make you invincible, Mr. Vane? Yes, Jervis. That secret formula. I placed a special security watch over my lab tonight while the invincibility compound is in its final phase. I want to make sure nothing goes wrong at this critical juncture. The guard hasn't called, so everything must be going according to plan. This is going to be the easiest hundred bucks I ever made. All I have to do is sit here. Unless I get an alarm. If I do get an alarm, I just call Alan Vane on his cell phone. Easy peasy. <gasps> what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I'm getting the alarm from A1 Sector. Mr. Vane said I should call him immediately if I get an alarm there. I'm right on top of that. But first, it's time for lunch. The alarm has gotten louder since my lunch break. Annoying, in fact. I'm going to see if I can shut it off. It looks like steam's escaping under the door. Mr. Vane said under no circumstances should I enter his laboratory. But this is definitely a circumstance. I'm going in. Pea soup. It's like dense fog, only a lot warmer. I have no idea what is causing all these alarms. It's probably just a big nothing bomb. <laughs> Mr. Vine, I just heard on the scanner. There's a problem at your chemical plant. Impossible. The security guard was supposed to call me if there was any trouble. Do you mean that goofy guy you recruited off a street corner? What was I thinking, Jervis? Get me to my lab, ASAP! If the invincibility compound becomes unstable and reaches critical mass ahead of schedule, there is only a tiny window of opportunity to take advantage of it. And I want to be the one who takes that advantage. Dispatch, this is South City Rescue in the vicinity of Vane Chemical Plant. We just heard an explosion. We're going to investigate. Proceed with caution. The fire department and police are en route and should arrive shortly. <sighs> if anyone was around when this place exploded, I don't know how much help any of us can be. It's a good thing this chemical plant shuts down at night. Anyone caught in this blast would be a goner. Wait, I think I hear something in the rubble. Ah, uh, am I a goner? <gasps> Some guy's buried under tons of debris, but he's still alive! Can you hear me, sir? I'm here to help. My name is Monica. Can you tell me your name? <coughs> name? I... I seem to have forgotten... my moniker. As soon as we get some equipment in here, we'll get all this rubble off you. Then we'll check you for injuries. All this concrete and steel is getting pretty uncomfortable. Great! That's sure a load off my back. I wonder how I was able to do that. I suddenly feel very powerful. Although I don't know who I am. And it suddenly occurs to me that my clothes may have been destroyed by the explosion. Uh. Here's a blanket you can cover up with. We need to transport you to the hospital so you can be fully examined. I don't need a hospital. And here's your blanket back. So you can cover up. <laughs> but I'm wearing clothes. That guy who survived the blast just leaped a 15-foot fence. Yeah. And I think he might have x-ray vision or something, too. I wonder if he has any other unusual abilities. Wow! I sure am running fast for a guy who doesn't know where he's going! Oh, I'm too late! I must have miscalculated the reaction time! If I had been successful, my secret formula would have made me invulnerable to disease and given me super strength. I would have assumed the body and looks of a man half my age. Gee, Mr. Vine, don't you think you should have tried for one-third? It's all gone now. 
I'll never be able to recuperate the time and money I poured into this project. All my notes and formulations were in this room. Even if I were able to piece the process back together, it would take years. And by then I'd be too old to survive the transformation. Say, did you hear? They say some guy survived the explosion and that he has incredible abilities. Jervis, I may be able to recuperate the time and money I poured into this project after all. Someone else acquired the amazing powers I designed for me. But who? Wait a minute. I never heard from that security guard I hired. He must have ignored my instructions and gone into my secret laboratory. When the invincibility compound exploded, he was saturated with it. If I can find that guard, I'll regain my formula. Let's go, Jervis. I feel younger already. I feel great. Super, in fact. Except for this one small spot here. This sore is all get out. Maybe it's my Achilles heel. Not only have I developed some amazing abilities, I seem to be getting more handsome day by day. With my newfound powers, I want to help people in need. Reality TV Network, I hear you're in need of new talent. Although I can't remember who I am, everywhere I go, people refer to me by the same name. So it must be Captain Clueless. <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> I accept cash, check, or credit card. Prepare yourself for my flying dropkick, baboon! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Thanks for telling me in advance what your next move was going to be, Captain Clueless. I hate fighting the hyena. I can easily defeat him, but he has that insidious laugh. And I always suspect that he's laughing at me. You got him cornered now, Captain Clueless. He just ran into the Hall of Mirrors. Wow. Look how handsome I am. I've caught you in the act, sloth. Don't move. Hey! Did you move? You're fast, Captain Clueless. Bet you'll never catch the cheat, huh? Well, if you're going to cheat, how can I hope to catch you? Captain Clueless, this is a town hall meeting to discuss gang violence in our community. Please deal with the issues. I already am, Mayor Caniva. Now, who else needs limited editions 1, 2, and 3?